What a great movie. This is so good. Yeah. Wait a minute. Is that? No way, that's... Um... Ah, oh, that's, that's... What's his name? From... Yeah. Oh, I love him. He's great. I'm so glad he's in this movie. This is so good. I do love a good secret cameo in a movie. You can be deeply immersed into a storyline and then all of a sudden, bam! A familiar face just turns up out of nowhere. He or she can be a famous actor that you enjoy in other franchises, but with even a few seconds of screen time, they can completely steal the show. Now, with that being said, I'm going to give you my five... Favourite cameos by actors in movies that you wouldn't expect. But don't worry, I'm going to think of a much better title for this video. Number five is Matt Damon in Interstellar. Now, it's been a long time since I've watched this movie, but I do remember enjoying it. It's a good sci-fi, space, head-messing kind of movie that you'd expect from Christopher Nolan. Um, Matthew McConaughey's great in it, and the whole storyline is just complete madness and unless you pay attention to it it can really mess with your head but the point of this is the secret movie cameo out of nowhere matthew mcconaughey's character stumbles across matt damon matt damon is just stranded on a planet and they resuscitate him and revive him and bring him back to life they end up having a bit of a scuffle after a little while, but I just think it's great. You know, you're watching the movie and all of a sudden, Matt Damon's there. Where did he come from? Is this his character from The Martian or is it a completely different character altogether? You know, it, it kind of throws up that whole, is this linked? Is it not vibe? But it's just great how Matt Damon just turns up out of nowhere. He's known for doing this kind of thing. Number four is Matt Damon in Eurotrip. Eurotrip is a very um, kind of American Pie light. They they went through this whole stage of doing an American Pie movie and then spinning it off so many times. And they did the same with this with uh, Road Trip. If you ever watch that, it's a great kind of stoner kind of movie. It's the best way that I can describe it. But one of the spin-offs from that is Eurotrip where... A man has to, he doesn't have to, but he meets a girl online and he travels all the way around Europe to try and find her after being dumped by his girlfriend. The reason his girlfriend dumps him is because she falls in love with Matt Damon's character, who is the lead singer of a band, uh, a punk band. And it's very not Matt Damon. If you see this character, he's completely away from how you would expect Matt Damon to look. But it's very interesting. Like I say, it's one of those ones that comes out of nowhere. And he sings a really great song. I can't remember the name of the song, but I'm definitely going to add a clip in because it is an amazing song. I actually listened to it so many times after I saw this movie. But again, it's just funny, Matt Damon turning up and acting like a punk rocker. This one's for you, baby. Happy anniversary. <laughs> Number three is Matt Damon in Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. I love Kevin Smith. I I struggle to think of one of his movies that I've seen that I haven't enjoyed. I think they're all great. He's a really great writer and director. And in that role of Silent Bobby, it's really good. 
Now, in this movie, uh, Jay and Silent Bob themselves decide to go around the world to try and work out why people are bad-mouthing them on the internet. And at one point, they stumble onto a movie studio because there is a movie being made about them. They believe they found the actors that are going to be playing them, so they decide to jump them and, you know, kick their asses. But they stumble into the wrong studio and they end up being on the set of Goodwill Hunting 2, starring Ben Affleck and, of course, Matt Damon. There he is reprising his role from that movie. Um, it's a very funny scene. It's very, it's very blink and you'll miss it. It is like a two-minute scene. But it is great and it's very funny. It's, it's nice to know that Matt Damon will kind of do these things. He will make these cameos in other movies for his friends. It's very funny. I definitely recommend checking it out. Number two is Matt Damon in Deadpool 2. There's a bit of a theme going on here. Um, yes, in Deadpool 2, out of nowhere, um, two guys are sitting on the back of a truck. One of them, I believe, is Alan Tudyk with a kind of a moustache and a hat. And they're having a conversation. And the man he is having a conversation with is none other than Matt Damon in full face makeup with a big beard and a big belly. And if you didn't know that it was him, it's very hard to see that it is Matt Damon. It is absolutely amazing. It's very funny. And again, it's one of those... Blink and you'll miss it moment. So really look out for it. You're, next time you watch Deadpool 2, you will see it. And number one is, can you guess, Matt Damon in Thor Ragnarok. I think you can probably guess by now the theme of this video and why I think it's so funny. Matt Damon is in Thor Ragnarok. At one point, um, Loki is on Asgard and he's taken the the appearance of Odin and he is running Asgard. He decides to put on a little play about uh, Thor and Loki's, you know, misadventures and how great Loki is and how Loki saved everyone. Now, the people in this play, um, it is Chris Hemsworth who plays Thor, his brother, L Luke Hemsworth. Yes, Luke Hemsworth is playing uh, Thor, putting a very good performance. You know, if, if Chris Hemsworth ever steps out, his brother could take over. And the actor on Asgard playing Loki is, of course, Matt Damon in a very, very good Loki outfit and actually playing the part very well. You know, again, if Tom Hiddleston decides to drop out as Loki, Matt Damon... He should sign on. He should definitely take over. So there you have it. My top five surprise movie cameos. I thought it was funny to do Matt Damon for everyone. I hope you agree. Are there any other movie cameos though that I should have discussed? Any other Matt Damon ones that I should have discussed? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give me a like and a subscribe. And I also have a podcast. It's called Up and At Them, um, where I discuss movie news every week. It can be found on the Podbean app as well as Spotify. Thank you for watching. David Crumholt. His show is called Numbers Friday Night at 10 on CBS. Sincere apologies to Matt Damon. We ran out of time for him tonight. We'll get him on the air again soon. Apologies to Matt Damon. We ran out of time. Matt Damon, apologies. We ran out of time. Matt Damon, apologies. We ran out of time. Apologies to Matt Damon. We ran out of time. Apologies to Matt Damon. Uh, we ran out of time. Matt Damon, I'm sorry. We ran out of time. Apologies to Matt Damon. We ran out of time. Apologies to Matt Damon. He had a baby today, so it really was the wrong thing to do to bump him, but we had to. Apologies to Matt Damon. We ran out of time. I apologize to Matt Damon. We ran out of time. I want to apologize. To Matt Damon, we ran out of time. We will reschedule him. Unfortunately, we are totally out of time. I knew you were gonna do it. Oh, big funny, big laugh. Just tell me what I can get up and walk up. No, 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 no. You said it. No, I knew you were gonna do that. I knew you were gonna do that.